Welcome back, fellow laundromat uh, friends. It's come to my attention that we need to address some of the negative comments. Now, Mrs. Keenan, she doesn't care, but some of these comments are downright mean, and I think you need to hear them. And here are my responses. So let's start. We'll do the top 10. Slumlord made no one want to use his washer and dryer, scuzz. First off, you need to get some grammar. If you're gonna really come at me, come at me with the English language in a book and a, a Lasaurus and everything else, because that sucked and I'm no slumlord. I've spent a lot of money here. I mean, look at this. Look at the quality of craftsmanship in this laundromat. You don't just get this with the Dollar General. This is like high-end Hilton setup, okay? Owner of laundromats are so scummy. No, we're not. We spend thousands of dollars to make this place nice so you have a place to use and you call me scummy. This man owes $5 to 25,000 people. No, I do not. I do not rip people off. I don't know where that comment came from. This one takes the cake, okay? Even Mrs. Keenan, when I talked to her about this, she just looked at me like I was a crackhead. Well, maybe if you set up more places to give change, you wouldn't have people change banditing you. Okay, let's think about this. I set up a change machine in my laundromat for my customers, not for randoms. It makes me no money. I don't care what you say, it makes me no money. Now this dude from California with a bunch of liberals in a room wants me to open up multiple change locations that make no money. Folks, this streams Democrat all over it because I gotta make money. I mean, who in the hell is gonna open up? So I'm gonna open up a kiosk somewhere with a change machine and I just, you give me a dollar, I give you a dollar and change. I, how do I pay for the lights? How do I pay for the rent? How do I pay for the water, the sewer, the trash, the rainwater tax that they got? How do I pay for my time? I mean, come on. Seriously, I mean, I, I read some of these comments and I, I, I really feel bad for society. Oh, uh, here's a great one. OMG, someone's using a change machine. Quick, make a video. Folks, it's a laundromat channel. I was at the laundromat cleaning a dryer. Someone came in, took change and left. Okay, they didn't use the laundromat. Now, why did I film that? Because one of the things I do in my videos for the benevolent people that are watching this that actually own laundromats that are new, I'm explaining to them, hey look, here's some of the downfalls you're gonna have. I'm trying to save them the hassle of learning this the hard way. A lot of young laundromat owners, even older ones that start late in life, deal with this and they ask the questions on the forums, what do you do? I showed you exactly what I do. It comes in, it goes out. There's nothing you can do. But that's why I made the video. It isn't like I made the video to get, go viral. I mean, come on. This is a laundromat channel. I'm trying to explain how this works. Laugh my ass off. How is bro mad he didn't lose anything? Okay, I didn't make anything. Only the change machine is for your customers. Everybody takes the change out. Guess what? No change machine. And when your customers come in, they're not bringing change with them because no one's got quarters in their pocket. Then they can't run the machines. If you use tokens, they can't run the machines. If they, if they were dollar coins and they took my dollar coins, same thing. All right, here's a great one. What a douche. Treat everyone with respect until they don't deserve it. It's probably why the business is always empty. Now this business isn't always empty, but what this was referring to is a video where I had that guy that was trying to eat food and hang out. The part you missed was, he was in here hanging out, kicking out customers with another buddy that ran off as we came in. I mean, Eric, the camera guy, even thought it was funny. He goes, where's that guy going? I go, well, because he's afraid we're gonna call the cops. I'm not a douche. The next video I make, I leave a homeless guy in there overnight, and now I'm an idiot. Make up your mind, people. I mean, what is it? Good, bad, ugly? I mean, you can't run a business and leave people in here that are just hanging out to do no good. And that's what he was up to. He was up to no good. Your customers are not gonna come in your laundromat. I wish that the people that make these comments owned a business and could see how it really was, because I guarantee you they'd be singing a different tune once they did. They would all of a sudden be like, oh my God, I can't believe it's like that. I mean, if I left that guy in here, three other people would show up with him drinking beer. That's one of the things he was doing when we got here. Then they would start smoking in your laundromat and nobody's gonna use my laundromat. Okay, so it was just crazy. And why I thought it was so funny when he walked out is because he literally lived across the street. Why doesn't he go to his own house and eat? Why does he gotta hang out in a laundromat that he doesn't do laundry at? Here's a good one. This channel is all about this dude throwing rage bait around. 
Get off my feed and get blocked. Once again, I'm showing people how it is to own a laundromat. This is like reality. I know reality sucks and you don't see that when you're in your mom's basement, but this is how the rest of us have to deal with society. I'm just showing people how it works. Like, do I do it always perfect? No, but I learn as I go. That guy, he needed to have the stern Keenan, not the prick and not the softy, and that's what he got. So anyway, that makes no sense. Well, that's some of the comments I get and some of the responses I have for you. I know that not everybody gets what I do and not everybody gets what real life is like, and that's kind of sad, but I'm just trying to help. I really am. I'm trying to help the laundromat owners that are dealing with these struggles every day. So thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. See you on the next one.